Are you bored of your old font that looks like this? And you would like to change it, maybe to something like this one? Well, no worries, I got you covered. Now stay tuned, and by the end of this video, you wanna know exactly how to change the font, and, well, be make the game more fun for you. Right, without further ado, let's get right into it. How we changing the font? First, it depends on you. If you want to have a customized font or it's something that you don't find it in the, into the windows, just go on the internet, look for it, download it and then install it. I'm just gonna use this as an example. So I'm gonna download the font, go here, double click in the downloads and press install as you can see here on the left corner. Right, it installed, you can see. Now we go into the search bar and type font settings. There we go. If we can see it, yeah, we've been sheriff here. Just make sure if your font has like more, well, metadata or whatever, just more like different designs. Or in this case, both these are both the same. Just look on the full name and copy it. But put it into a notepad like I do here. Just put it into a notepad and have it saved because you're going to paste it after. Right. With this out of the way, go back into the search bar, type registry. Now we open the registry. In order to, let's not make it difficult. This is going to take this. Yeah, I'm going to uh, up, update it. I'm going to put it in the description of the video. There we go. Press enter. So we are into this page with font substitutes. You can see here in the left side into the folder. What we do, right click, new, string value. Do it twice, string value. Now you're gonna go on first one, rename it, and you're gonna type, don't forget, capital F, font T. Take a one, rename, font in, small caps. Just make sure the S and C, they are with capital letters. Right, now we're gonna copy the name of the font we want to use, in my case, Microsoft Sheriff, font in, value data. And we add the name of the font. The same on this one. Good. Now, doing a bit of research, I don't remember I did this last time, when I used my font, uh, what you do, you go on to Windows plus X and on the left side you see here Windows PowerShell Admin. Make sure you're using this one. Press yes. And now in my case I'm using the Steam version of Path of Exile. So copy this. Just paste it here. And there we go. Now it's set. In case you don't want to use this font and you want the font that I've been using in my previous videos, the font that I've been using is this one. I'm sorry, but I can't spell it. But now you know. I'm not sure if it's like incorporated in Microsoft or you need to download it. But yeah, this is the font that I've been using. Now, after you finish with this and you've done all the steps, just restart your computer. Make sure you're restarting your computer. And let's see when we're coming back, if it worked. Now we just restarted back the game and we can notice here the font work. Everything is good. Perfect. Now this is how they look on the ground. I think it looks way better. I hope you found this guide helpful and don't forget if you can, help me with a share, like or subscribe. Thank you very much and well, see you next time.